Hi everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady and today I am visiting a garden in North Carolina that I've never been to. Airly Gardens in Wilmington, North Carolina. And I have a very special out of town visitor here with me. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Andrew Bunting. I'm a vice president of horticulture at the Pennsylvania Horticultural Society in, in Philadelphia. And so this guy is heavily involved in the Philly Flower Show amongst a million other ventures that you guys have going on. PHS is really amazing. So anyhow, he escaped the, the cold to come down here. As you can tell <laughs> by my bare arms, the polar weather has disappeared and we are now in our yo-yo cycle. We are what near 70 degrees today. Yeah, yeah, it feels great. And neither one of us have been to this garden and we thought it would be fun to take all of you along for a quick garden tour here in Wilmington, North Carolina, which is legit zone eight, covered with live oaks and lots of Spanish moss. So get ready for a low country feel. So because of last week's weather, the camellias are not in bloom right now, but there's just a wall of camellias. Like, this is definitely camellia country here. So all of the evergreens that you see down this lane are predominantly Camellia japonica. There might be some reticulatas planted here because they're warmer, they can grow reticulatas. And just so everybody can understand, I think the real joy of this garden is with the native live oaks. And you know, we're, we're two hours from where I live, but it looks like Charleston and I have a thing for low country. <laughs> Look at that gorgeous live oak. It's just so romantic. And when these camellias are in bloom, this will be outrageous. Now I have a reason to come back, probably in February. This is a very impressive live oak. What a remarkable tree. Wisely, they have this fenced off so people aren't invading the root system. It's something they had to do at the Angel Oak down in Charleston because people were really causing a lot of damage. It's kind of funny though to see hetera growing underneath it. <laughs> there are a handful better, less invasive species that could be used as a ground cover here. Although, look, there's are those paper whites? Those are narcissists blooming. This is a grand lawn surrounded by the most beautiful live oaks that I've seen in North Carolina. I can't believe I've been here 20 years and I've never visited this garden. And it's like a mile from the beach that I love to spend time at. <laughs> it's a good thing Andrew came to town. So I'd be motivated to do something different. <laughs> well, this is exciting. They're not open, but you can see camellia buds getting ready. Uh, they will be open, I bet, in the next couple of days. I definitely have to come back during camellia season. Of course, this is what most of the camellia flowers look like right now after last week's cold snap. Um, I don't see labels on these plants. So I can't tell you anything about cultivar names. Uh, if that's a soft pink, it's likely pink perfection, but right now it's brown. <laughs> but you can see tons of flower buds coming. Those flower buds are not impacted. So these will continue to put on a beautiful winter display provided temperatures regulate. These holly ferns are totally unaffected by the colder weather, which is really nice to see. And there's lots of palms everywhere.
Um, but the thing I really wanted to see was this bottle chapel that I've only seen photographs of. So mission accomplished. We're coming upon it. You need one of these for your place. I clearly do. I have enough bottles <laughs> to create something like this. <laughs> I have no idea how to do this, but I definitely want to. I always envisioned it having a roof. <laughs> but it's pretty cool as a folly. Yeah. Well, I hope that you all have enjoyed this tour of Airly Gardens and be sure to tune in later for another garden tour from the new Hanover County Arboretum. Thanks so much for watching everybody and happy gardening.